Hello and welcome to Amy Paradise. Today I'm going to show you how to download and play Game Boy Advance games on your Android phone. We're going to have to get the ROM here and we're going to have to get the emulator on the Google Play Store. So first, let's go ahead and download the ROM. You can get that ROMs, ISOs, and games on the left side. Click on that and it'll show all the platforms you can download games for. Game Boy Advance specifically is down in this section. Make sure to click on this one for easy comprehension. The other one is games released by chronological order. This one is alphabetical, so it's easier to find the game. So, step one, choose a letter. Although, the t most downloaded games are further down this list. Where do I go for Emerald? But, let's just go ahead and follow the instructions. Click P for Pokemon. And then we're going to scroll down. Look for Pokemon, Pokemon Emerald, USA. Right there. It's even a Japanese version if you're into that. We'll click on that. Just scroll down. There's some screenshots and reviews. And there's the download link. We'll click on that. It'll pull us to another screen. We'll click on that. 6.7 megabytes. It's not that large compared to modern games, of course, but it's a Game Boy Advance game. I don't think many of you expect it otherwise. So, we now have the game downloaded to Downloads. Alright, now we just need to unzip it. In my case, I'm using 7-zip, but in this case, also, since it's just a zip file, we should be able to just do it with the default Windows unzipper but I recommend 7-zip for other archives and now it's unzipped now we need to put it on our phone I have it hooked up via a USB cable but do whatever you know will work for your phone so I go to my phone go into my SD card it could be in your internal storage but I'm just using my SD card I'm going to make a new folder I'm just going to call it ROMs and I'm going to drag the the ROM into the folder an easy transfer just give it a second and there it is it's now on the phone next part is we need to get the emulator and for that we need to get on our phones and get into the Google Play Store alright now that we're in our phone let's pull up our apps scroll over and look for Play Store or Google Play tap it pull up Play Store now we're looking for a specific emulator we're going to search for my boy now there's two versions of this emulator there's the free version and the premium version I can tell you that the main difference between the two is that the pre premium version for 499 allows for save states most notably when you turn off the emulator and do something else the game is instantly saved and when you boot it up you can go back to where you were in the free version it works like a traditional Game Boy in that you have to save in the game in order to save normally which isn't always that bad but for today we can go to the free version just for demonstration's sake and you can make up your mind yourself if you want to pay for the save state feature among other features all we have to do is tap install has a modest list of permissions compared to other apps I've seen so we're going to accept and it'll just take a little bit to download not too long though let it install it's taking longer than the download by the way, as you can see, it's a very popular download. Even has some screenshots there. Scroll down just to see what's new while we wait. Oh, actually, it's, it's done. So let's open. Just tap there. It should be on your home screen now. All right. Now all we have to do also the free version has advertisements on this screen not when you play mind you so it's not very uh, 
intrusive. Now all we need to do is find our ROMs. We made the ROM folder earlier, so we just tap on that, and it'll show us our Pokemon Emerald. So we just tap on that. And there you go. It runs very smooth, even on a lower end phone. Keep in mind, it's running quite a bit smoother on my phone than it is on the screen capture because of the limitations of the software I'm using. So, that's pretty much everything you need to know. The emulator itself doesn't actually require much configuration but there is a number of configurations for it including frame skipping audio frequency input options including controller support but you'll need to root your phone for that I believe the screen layout and cheats of course can't have an emulator without that and like I said save states are for the full version unfortunately it's 599 sorry 499 so if you feel it's worth the price to be able to pull pokemon out of your pocket whenever you want then feel free to pay that price also mind you you can play it in a profile so That's just, hmm. I was hoping I could turn it sideways on my screen, but I guess not. There we go. I was clicking the wrong button. But yeah. Pokemon. On your Android. As Nintendo intended. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this was an informative video, and that I hope this got your foot in the door of Android emulation. This is a pretty simple setup process, and luckily, it's a pretty easy to run emulator, even on lower end phone like mine. So, hope you have a good one, and have fun playing Pokemon or whatever Game Boy Advance game you want.